All right, this tutorial is going to cover how to land the aircraft. First thing you want to do, get your airspeed below 300 knots. We'll get our speed break out to help out a little bit with the speed. Okay, we're about 300 knots now. Go ahead and lower your landing gear. I got mine set to key bind so you won't see me hitting any switches. Got three green lights right there. It means the gear is down and locked. Let's talk about what we're looking for now. All right, so there's a few things. So the first thing is the uh, 2.5 degrees down pitch right here is indicated by these dotted lines. So these dashed lines right here, you got three on the left, three on the right. We're going to bring that uh, 2.5 degrees down. We're going to put that line right at the beginning of the runway. We're also going to put our flight path marker at the beginning of the runway. And then down here, this is our angle of attack indicator bracket. We're going to bring the top of the bracket kissing the bottom of the flight path marker. Don't worry about airspeed. Worry about those three things for now. So in order to get the uh, 2.5 degree line on down, you bring your flight path marker down below where you want it. So we'll put our FPM down. That'll lower the dash line as well with it. And once the dash line gets pretty close to the beginning of the runway, we'll bring our flight path marker back up. This will put us on a 2.5 degree angle of a landing approach to the runway. So we bring our FPM up now, our flight path marker. Now you can see our AOA bracket is still down low in the HUD, so we get our let out throttle, slow down in order to bring it up. So we continue to pull back on the stick to keep the flight path marker on the runway and I'll bring our AOA bracket up. Now once we get pretty close to it all lined up, we need to add throttle to maintain where we are. So if we stop right now, we can see roughly around 154 knots is the airspeed we need to maintain what we have. Every time you come in for landing, don't focus on the airspeed initially though. You know, depending on your weight, the amount of fuel you have, the amount of weapons, fuel tanks, all that plays a factor into it. So you can't rely on your airspeed. So focus on these three things on the hood. But in this current landing, we know roughly 154 knots is what we're looking for. So we got everything lined up now on the hood, looking good. And right as we come over the numbers, we're going to start to flare a little bit by pulling back gently, and we let out the throttle. And we're going to try to put the flight path mark on the middle of that AOA bracket and hold it there. All right, so we're wheels down. I'm going to pause real quick. While you're landing, you also want to do a thing what we call aero braking, is where you're using the aircraft's body to uh, slow down against the wind. Right here on your AOA bracket, Try to keep your pitch to Robin, where you two, are. One, sound tower. Next time, get a clearance before landing. So tower's pissed at us. Give me one, two, one Contact tower. Switch to two, nine, two, three, zero. So once we come in for landing, make sure you try to keep your pitch to uh, your AOA using your pitch by pulling back on the stick to within the green bar. If you go all the way up to the red bar, you're going to slam your engine. If you go down to the yellow, you're just going to put your nose down. No big deal. So we're going to hold back on the stick gently to stay in the green bar. Once we get around 90 knots, we're going to gently let go of the stick or just assist it to bring the nose down. All right, then you're going to use your brakes, apply them, do not slam onto them, do not hold them longer for a second or two. And we're under control. And of course, you're going to hit your nose wheel steering button to uh, give you nose wheel steering ability. And then you can go find closest taxiway and get off the runway. 